Hi everyone, welcome back to JPWHU TV. My name is John, your host as always, and I hope you're all doing well as I always do. This is the preview of Fulham versus West Ham live at Craven Cottage at half past five kickoff on Saturday afternoon in the Premier League live on Sky Sports. As always, this video is sponsored by the channel sponsor 3retro.com. Please click the link in the description below that will take you directly through to the West Ham section of their website where you can purchase some really nice retro gear guys as you can see from the icon that's up here. Along with Admiral and Umbro Claret and Blue track jackets, polo shirts, sweatshirts and t-shirts so go check those out. Any purchases made through the link in the description below the commission that the channel would normally be getting I'll be sending directly to Iron Supporting Food Banks to help the charity that's helping those in the Newham area that are reliant on food banks to just have a normal life so shall we say so guys grab yourself a very nice retro shirt and you'll be going to help those in the Newham area to just improve their life slightly for those that, because I don't like to know that people within the area where West Ham is born and raised are having to rely on food banks and so I want to I want to try and do as much as we as much as I can so your donations via via the um, the shop will be very much appreciated now the referee for this game unfortunately is Mike Dean. Now I know the last game that he refereed was the uh, Doncaster game in the FA Cup and as a result, you know, he had he actually had quite a good game that day, but genuinely he's not my sort of he's not my sort of uh, play, uh referee. He really really isn't. Um his assistants on the on the side of the pitch are Darren Kang, sorry, Darren Can and Simon Long. The fourth official is Kevin Friend. But fortunately, he's only in charge of putting the time as times up. And Lee Mason's on VAR. So Mike Dean, Kevin Friend, and Lee Mason all together in one position. Oh, it's not going to be good. It's not going to be good. Uh, Lee Mason's assistant is Scott Ledger. Now turning to Fulham. Last time um, they they had a kick off just before our game against Leicester, and they got beaten two 0 by Leicester. A very very good goal from Ian Acho on the 17th minute. And um, on the 44th minute, if I remember correctly, a goal from Justin. The beautiful run that their left back, um, Leicester's left back made. Very, very good. It was it like 70 yards, I think it was, if I remember correctly, 70, 80 yards, something like that. And we literally just bait, and he got um, Madison, James Madison set him, set both goals up. So guys, any of you that are watching the fantasy league, um, if you've got James Madison in your side, you've done, you've done well. I reckon you've got some very good points off him. Now Fulham don't have any real injuries. Uh, other than just Tom Kearney's long-term knee injury and Congolo's thigh injury. Um, so it doesn't really disrupt Fulham. I mean, if, it, if there's any whites watching, then Barmies, let us know if there's any, any other injuries uh, to your players. But as, as the time of this recording, that's the only two that I can see. Um, so unfortunately, Fulham look very, very unorganised. Um, like uh, just nowhere near, nowhere near as as organised as they were when we played them early in the season. When in November, when um, Socek beat them one, uh, so Socek scored the only goal of the game, um, and even that was right at the, right at the death. Just before that weird, weird penalty that Lookman tried to score, we were fortunate that night with all three points. Um, at the start of the season, we were very fortunate to pick up a few points, um, the points that we, the wins that we did, I should say, because uh, we weren't playing all that w all that well, but um, but we were picking up the points, and that's what's important to a good good team. And of course, um, Lookman's had a had a much better season since November, um, and is a goal is sorry, is, and is a player I wouldn't mind seeing in West Ham at some point if if Fulham go down. It looks like Fulham's on the cards, on um, relegations on the cards for Fulham. It really generally does, and it's a shame because I like Fulham. A lot of people know that I've got a soft spot for them. Uh, but yeah, you know, it's 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 been it's been a it's been a tumultuous time for Fulham, and I do hope they bounce back, just not on Saturday. <laughs> Now, thank you to everybody that's uh, subscribed over the last couple of days. Uh, we're back to 1,740 subscribers, so thank you very much for that. However, over the last four weeks, 32% of you guys are still unsubscribed. So even though the, the, the amount's gone down slightly, the viewing, viewing figures have gone down quite a fair bit as well. But there's still quite a lot of you that aren't subscribed. So if you are enjoying the content, 
Um, I'm hoping you're enjoying the content now that I've got stable internet. I mean, the live live chat we did on Wednesday, uh, or yesterday, I should say, uh, went very, very well. And also, did, so did the, 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 the. I've had two watch longs in the t in the row now, where we where we've had absolutely no problems whatsoever. I mean, it's a bit of a technical problem that I had, um, but in terms of the broadcast itself, it was absolutely perfect. So, guys, if you're enjoying what I'm doing and you want to know more, then Barmans, please do hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you get to know when new content's going up because there's a lot more coming, of course. Now, turning to West Ham. Last night we beat Aston Villa 3-1. We beat them twice this season. And to be honest with you, all the grief I was getting in the comments of the Villa preview, I was expecting to get a bit of a roasting from, from some of the Villa fans while the game was going on. But nothing. Zip. Nada. So, um, yeah, it's you guys don't agree with, with me that I feel that Jack Grealish is a cheat. Proved it again last night. Um, but if you don't agree with me, that's fine. It's not a problem. None of you guys was only only one person said they um, Villa fan said they were that they were going to beat us. Everyone else was trying to jump on my back saying about me calling Grealish to cheat. It just shows that how panicked these fans are that they try and find anything to try and grow at you. So fine, bring it on. I haven't got an issue with it. Um, but a very very good goal from Socek to open up the scoring and what a perfect debut from Jesse Lingard on loan from Man United. Brilliant, absolutely perfect movement from the kid. Two brilliant goals. His under, his communication with Ben Rama and Antonio, the three of them were working fantastically well. We seem to up we seem to have up our game a little bit with um, without without having full nails on the pitch. And Bowen was rested and, F and Fredericks came in. So, um, but for me personally, Creswell vilified himself over the last couple of games. So I've been very very critical of him over the last couple of games. Where I where I've said that I, he's he's made a lot of errors and he has made a lot of errors, but last night he absolutely got back to Creswell's best. I mean, everybody played brilliantly last night. I mean, there isn't anybody that had, that was that underperformed last night. It was just it was the perfect football performance. As I said, a brace from Jesse Lingard. Love watching his celebrations, especially the especially the first one when he was doing, telling everyone to be quiet because like everybody else, you know, he uses social media on a regular basis, so he's gonna know what people are saying about him. Um, but you know, but he lasted. Lingard lasted the 90 minutes. It was beautiful from him um, to see that, and as I say, the communication. Antonio with a couple of assists for uh, sorry for both assists for his goals as well. You know, it's very very good, very very good. Um, I can't see any new injuries, so it, it, I'm guessing the, the squad is going to be as is, which ties us nicely into talking about the starting eleven. As I said, for me, Creswell is back in the side. Back in the starting eleven because he, he played beautifully well, and to be honest with you, I agree 100% with what Moyes Moyes put out on Wednesday uh, last night. And if he puts out the the same thing on Saturday, I'll be very very happy. And as a result, here is my starting eleven: Fabianski in goal with a back four of Soufal, Dawson, Ogbonna, and Creswell. Rice and Socek as the defensive midfield with Fredericks, Lingard and Ben Rama in the attacking midfield with Antonio up front. So guys, thank you very much for your time. As always, put your comments in the comment section below. Let me know your predictions. Let me know your thoughts on the starting 11. Do you agree that we should be keeping this exactly the same starting 11? I'm guessing most of you are. I'm going to agree with that. Put your say, put your predictions down again. It, for me personally, I think we should go out, go all out, and get a win out of this. Um, as as disorganised as Fulham have been over the last few games, excuse me, it, that can only work into our advantage. It genuinely can only work into our advantage. Um, so, but you never know. You never know with football. Football's a crazy, crazy game, and F Fulham is a good is a good watch. Is at the same point. So, guys, I hope you're going to join us for the watch along. We'll be live from twenty past five on Saturday afternoon or Saturday evening, technically, um, for the game. So, come join us. Um, in the meantime, thank you very, very much for your time. Enjoy the rest of your week and the start of your weekend, and I hope to see you on Saturday afternoon. All the best now. Take care.